Welcome to Parents of the Dead. 30. Episode 30. 30. Yes. So it's time for the zombies to attack. Yeah. Finally. Finally. They will punch us. <laughs> so this is a... We're making a zombie game and in episode 30, we're starting to look into zombies attacking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long one. Uh, yeah. So... Um, how, where do we even start? Um, so, um, yeah, where do we start? So we need to have like, so this will happen. You, we, this will also be triggered by finishing your turn. Yes. You finish your turn. That means that your uh, dice will be affected. And then the zombies will attack mm -hmm. or perform their turn is more correct to say. Yes, that's right. Because they can do other things than attack also. But we'll get to that. <laughs> Zombies love punching. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So what they're known for. So, and then now I think what, what, what we learned from our previous episode is that they should now have some intentions. That's right. Because that will be... So, yeah. Should probably be named actions or whatever, but... Their intention is to punch. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Fine. The action so, is actually punching. Yeah. So we have a zombie punched event. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, it goes without saying that it, the zombie punches the player. Yeah. 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 yeah that's implicit. The, yeah. The, 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 we have, <laughs> we have punched zombie. <laughs> zombie punched. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. But that's completely fine. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Or maybe it should be like yeah yeah okay. Player I see. punched. Yeah. yeah. The punched player? Yeah, punched player. Punched yeah. player. <laughs> okay. Is it zombie punched player? Uh, I think only zombie will punch players in the game. Yeah, okay. So it's a yeah. punched player. I think it actually makes sense because if there are something that's not a zombie and it punches the player, it will yeah. work the same way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we get a punched player event. <laughs> and we don't need a zombie ID, but we do need is a damage. It's a one damage. It's a punch. Yeah. There are no die IDs. No. And probably we are going to need our player health then. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, we used to have a, a player with, I think this is what it looks like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my, uh, set player health. Set player health. Max and current. It does nothing. Hmm? <laughs> it does nothing. <laughs> set player health does nothing. No, no, no. But it, uh, it's... <laughs> Probably it has to do something. Yeah, pro <laughs> probably has to do something. But let's not worry about that now. <laughs> or maybe you <laughs> should worry about that I think that maybe, now. because we, uh, yeah. I, I came here to just like see how, what does it even look like? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it looks like max and current. Yeah, it, it does. So it's max um, seven, current so five. Do we not render the player's health? We yes, do we render do. it. Yeah, we do. We <laughs> just don't keep it in the state on the server. That's right. Yeah. But there has no been been no reason to do so. That's right. Yeah. So, so we have player health, max 7, current 5. Yeah. Now we have current 4. After print, uh, No, the damage is... We, we realized we have, to, we have to include the damage as is. That's what we do for the zombies. Mm. Because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we will apply the, the damage. To if you want to create an animation or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you need to know the before and the next value. And the event is finish my turn, like yeah. always. Okay. Yes. They love punching. I, I expect nothing. <laughs> so this problem, should we fix that like after this one? Yeah. Or? yeah. yeah. So I'll just uh, leave this one. Mm -hmm. um, so this is in perform command, finish turn is in here. So yeah, it's getting a bit unwieldy, but... Um, it's basically unlock dice, replenish, roll. Out. All this is part of cleaning up the round. Yes, you might you just pull, uh, fix the test, and we will pull pull it out into a separate function after. Yeah, because then we'll have a function here: uh, perform zombie turn. Yeah, perform zombie turns. Yeah, of course, because there are multiple zombies. Um, and I guess I have to loop. You have. You need a map cat then. I need a map cat. I do need a map cat. Yeah. Okay. Map cat it is. It's maybe it's perform zombie. Oh. I just realized something. Um, 
It's it's fine. You can do this. Uh, we, we 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 have some things to think about. <laughs> because <laughs> Mapcat won't do it. Mapcat um, won't do it. No. Okay. Um, uh, let's let me just try to write some code so we can see what the problem is. Yeah. Instead of guessing all yeah. the problems that will come up. Yes. Yeah. So I'll just uh, do this. Mm -hmm. um, ID no. Zombie, vals, zombies game. Mm -hmm. Just uh, makes it easier for me to think. So I'm gonna do. Yeah, not gonna do that. I'm gonna do. Ah. Punched player. There needs to be a translation then from the intentions mm -hmm. to the action. Mm -hmm. So get intention event. That's certainly a name. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think you can just inline it for now. Okay. So, but that yeah. means that, so... I, I'm not opposed to a case, for instance. No, it will be a case, but... Uh, it will be Mapcat at least because there yeah. could be uh, several, mm -hmm. several of them. So there will be case. Uh, no, because now I have to do map. <laughs> you do <laughs> the intentions of yeah. the zombie, or actually four. I can do. You, you, you know what? I think if the zombie has three punches, mm -hmm. we we want to create one event. One event with yeah, three yeah, punches. Yeah, in that's it. right. So. Um, we have some code already that turns this into a bunch of effects, don't we? Uh, the the die sorta does it. Yeah, let me see, because this just goes. Um, so it says current phase. This is very oriented against dice. Mm -hmm. And there's a punch value though, but it also uses the die because it uses current phase. Hmm. So it seems like we should have had even one more layer of, uh, of abstraction. Like mm -hmm. first you get the faces mm -hmm. and then you get the... Because uh, now we only have mm -hmm. faces. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, in including current face in punch value is bad. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah here. Yeah, so you can just uh, do a comp on the map. Comp, punch value and current face. Yeah, right. Uh, and then remove it from because uh, then we get uh, a, uh, <laughs> a what is it? <laughs> well, what is it? What's it called? Um, a um, we don't have a name for it yet. No, so do we have action, a... yeah, generic and good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. fine. It's okay. called, it's yeah. nice. We do, I don't think we actually have actions yet. We have the actionizer, yeah. Uh, which do perform, make some actions for the client. But re really, I would like to call this function, but... Yeah, no, because um, yeah, that's something else. Okay, so... But you you can have... I need something like three, this then. You reuse the punch value. I need something like this. I need to get intention effects. Yes. Is that okay? Yes. Intentions. Mm -hmm. And then... I don't need to... Yeah, I can do here. I can do... Yeah, those are the intentions. Intentions, and then just uh, call it punches. Yeah. And... Um, I don't need this. No, that's right. Ah, cool. Mm -hmm. um, so now I can get intention effects from um, the intentions of the zombie mm -hmm. and then we'll just get one event per th kind of thing they do yes this is good yes but there will still be multiple things yes uh this is not that you can do a four you can do a four and then the structure yeah, yeah sure uh, four and then kind and uh Oops. yeah thanks <laughs> like that and then we have the case yes on the kind <laughs> oh my god yeah. oh my god okay and then punches turns into I like that you chided me for being like sort of doing things <laughs> before they are needed <laughs> <laughs> well uh, so it's value on uh, so here this needs to come from the player right yeah uh, get in that's not how you do it. Nope. Game. Player health. Is it just player health? No, player and health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And, and the value is the value on the alt. Value opts. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. And some epicat. So uh, we got zero damage. Zero damage. So um, why is that? Because you're filtering. Oh, filter. Is it filter in the set. Yeah, that should work. Punches. Punch mm. value. Uh, Let's just. I'll just do this. Yeah. Um, yeah, intentions nil. Intentions nil. Intentions. And you're not intentions of the zombie. Uh, zombie one. Uh, maybe I did not. Uh, I did do valve zombies and then zombie. Oh, yeah. That's a strange. Yep. Try try debugging that one. Then. Yeah. It does have intentions. So the intent uh, is just spelled wrong. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is. It's a damn <laughs> test. It's a spell of the S. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. Cool. Nice. That's um, the that's check of code and that was eleven minutes. Yeah. But uh yeah, so I guess Maybe we can leave it for the next episode to take it further. Yeah. Because uh, we need to actionize this and make it visible to the client. Mm -hmm. But that will happen in the next exciting installment of Patterns of the Dead. Dead. Yeah. So episode 30. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Come again. Mm -hmm.